This video is brought to you by Pro Star Tables. Hi pool players, it's the Terminator. Welcome back to another episode of Terminator Tips. In this lesson, I'm gonna show you two great examples of rail first position shots that you didn't even think were possible. I'm gonna show you where to hit the cue ball, which stroke to use, and how to execute the shot so you can put it in your bag of tricks and win more games. Let's jump on the table right now. Here we go, pool players. I picked up this shot and technique about 25 years ago. And at that time, it was a real eye opener for me. Let's say in this first example, we're playing a game of eight ball. We have no available routes to us to get down table back to this eight. If we want to go three rails around, the 10 and 11 are blocking the positions on the rails we want to hit. We can't go backwards this way. There's all sorts of traffic in the way. How can we get position on the eight? The only thing people maybe would come up with in this position would be to cross over perhaps one rail or two rails and leave themselves a bank shot. But there's actually a super powerful shot available to us. And with a little bit of practice, we can really get this shot down quick and start getting better position on all kinds of shots. What we need to do is contact this five ball rail first. So we're gonna contact the rail before the five. That way the cue ball will still stay on this path here. And because we're gonna put a lot of left spin on it, the left spin is gonna bring us back into this position here for the eight ball. If we contact this five ball ball first, the cue ball will right away dip a little bit forward and it will never have the angle anymore to come back into this line. It's gonna stay in this area around the kitchen. We're not gonna get a shot on the eight and we could lose the game. So we're gonna contact the cue ball low left, draw, and we have to contact the five cushion first. That's the key, otherwise we will not get the action. Let me show you what it looks like. Don't have to hit it super hard. But the key is hitting the rail just before the five. And there you see that spin grabbing. It's a super powerful shot to have in your bag. When I first started practicing this shot, I had a lot of trouble with the feel and the tip position and the speed. I didn't know how to hit it. I didn't know the deflection. I had trouble with it. That's why I want to show you, for example, this shot. If you would hit this ball medium firm, come down table for the eight with some low right spin, that's kind of the same hit, the same speed. That's about the same velocity that we need for the rail first shot. And the cool thing is, you can hit this ball from various positions on the long rail. Third diamond, second diamond, first diamond, doesn't matter as long as the object ball is frozen or very close to it. Here's a nice example of when the object ball is laying on the third diamond. Boom, coming down table, great shape on the eight. Such a powerful shot. Here's another great example in a game of 10 ball this time. Our opponent broke the balls Cue ball's right in the middle of the table. He left us a shot on the one, but how in the world can we get on the two ball? We can't go forward once again. These balls are blocking all these natural routes to go three rails back for the two, and we can't go backwards towards this side rail. The four is in the way, the eight is in the way, so I see virtually zero position routes to get back on the two and shoot it in the same corner. But 
real first job is gonna help us out. When we contact the one real first, the cue ball is gonna cross over once again here, and with the left spin, carry back out for the two and do some damage in this rack. Let me show you what this looks like. We don't need the super firm stroke, but the key is low lift, and we have to contact the rail before the ball. And that way, the cue ball wants to shoot back towards the two, and now we have a chance. Let's see. Let's stay above this three ball. There, we can get shape on the four after the three, and we have a chance to run out this rack from a position that didn't look like it was available. So the two biggest keys to remember are we have to contact the rail before the ball, rail first, and if we're going to contact, in this case, the right side of the one, we want to put left spin on it, so inside spin, and vice versa for the other side, if we're going to contact the left side of the two, we want to put right spin on it. There you go, pool players. I really hope you got something out of this lesson. A great stroke builder and another trick to put in your bag of tricks. Don't forget to check out all the other great content on the channel, pool players. There's tips and lessons here uploaded weekly. And if you're interested in the mental side of the game, head over to terminatorcollege.com. Check out all the courses that are waiting there for you. Take care.